Welcome to the first episode of How Your Favorite Perfume Is Made. This is a new series where we're gonna go behind the scenes of the perfume industry to discover how things work. From glass bottle manufacturing, to ingredients, to perfume creation, and much more, we're gonna see it all. Today, we're off to the Glass Valley, which is located at the border of Normandy and Eau-de-France to join Veressance, the world's number one luxury glass bottle manufacturer. They produce 620 million bottles per year. Wild, right? I'm sure you can spot some of your favorite perfume bottles already. Got all geared up and started the visit at the primary site in Mers les Bains where the glass is produced. How is glass made? It's like baking a cake. First, assemble all the ingredients, namely sand, soda ash, and limestone. Mix it all together and bake at 1600 degrees Celsius until melted. It's a furnace in here. Or the gates of hell, I'm not sure. Transfer melted glass into feeders or distribution channels. Cool it slightly at 30 1300 degrees Celsius so it thickens a little. Using giant scissors, cut into equal parts so that each drop fits perfectly into each mold. Add some compressed air, transfer into a second mold, add more compressed air, et voila, you have a perfume bottle. Magnifique. We're not done though, there's also a curing process that takes place, but first let's visit the area where they keep and maintain the molds or casts, a fascinating area. I was greeted like a queen, how cute is this TV screen? The casts will ultimately determine the shape of your perfume bottle. The same cast can be used to make up to 250,000 bottles. As part of the glass making process, there is some natural wear and tear to the cast. So that is where skilled technicians come in, or let's call them magicians, that repair the cast through very precise movements. It can take up to 10 years to master this craft, but the result is just like magic. Back to our freshly baked perfume bottles. After coming out of their cast, they undergo a fire polishing process where they're exposed to high heat which will polish and bring sparkle to the glass. But the glass is very fragile at this stage. So to reinforce it, the glass is cooked once more and cooled progressively before making its way to the sorting process. Supercomputers, humans, and robots all coexist together to go through the batches with a fine tooth comb. Any bottle with defects and deemed unacceptable is rejected. Not to worry though, nothing goes to waste. The glass is recycled and goes straight back into the furnace for the next production. The bottles that do pass quality control are packed up and ready to be decorated. On to the second factory visit and outfit number two. Here, the bottles are decorated and transformed into little pieces of art. Coloring, logos, and text are applied to the perfume bottles depending on what the client wants. You can think of this process similar to getting gel nails done. First, choose a color you want. Bright, bold colors, ultra glossy finishes, or metallics, the choice is yours. Apply a few coats of the desired color in even coats. Cure the bottles so that the paint dries and hardens. Going from this, this to this. Look at the difference. Splendid. Next, add some embellishments. Through screen printing, a printing technique where a screen is used to transfer ink to the bottle, logos or text is transferred onto the bottle. For areas which are a little difficult to tackle, a silicon pad is used to stamp on the desired design. Incroyable. What a difference it makes. And the final stage is inspection. Another few rounds of quality control to make sure everything looks perfect before being ready to ship out to clients. Et voila. Now you know how how perfume bottles are made. Let me know what you'd like to see next.